Oh, the last of the drawer slides on this big kitchen. Boy, will I be glad to be through with this. Okay, everything's in place. I've got the driver. Ah, forgot to grab a screw. Well, that clamp's pretty strong. It should hold it for just a second. Wait, don't throw that drill. If installing drawer slides leaves you frustrated and confused, you've come to the right place. Today we're going to look at a slide jig that's so effective and affordable, you'll wonder, why didn't I think of that years ago? And be sure to stick around till the end of the video for some info on other installation tips and techniques that will step up your slide game. All this and more, right now, here on Shop Tales and Lore. Most professional cabinet makers will tell you that the ideal time to install drawer slides is when you still have the cabinet in the shop. If it can be placed on its side or as may be needed to take advantage of gravity, most of the usual challenges with installing slides go away. But sometimes, such as in a remodel or other situation where the cabinet cannot be moved, this option isn't always available. In these scenarios, gravity is the enemy, not our friend. It's no surprise then that most methods and jigs are aimed at overcoming its effects, at least long enough to steady the slide and drive the screws that hold it in place. There are probably as many ways of holding or positioning slides as there are cabinet makers, and everyone has their pet method. We have tried a number of commercial jigs over the years, but no single type works well in all circumstances. The more complex ones tend to be pricey and are just not practical options for the home craftsman who might use it for one or two projects. So as we thought about shop-built solutions, we started with the three main criteria that are common to all slide installations. One, the slides must be square to the face of the cabinet. Two, they must be parallel with each other. And three, they must be equidistant at the front and rear of the carcass. All three of these conditions can be dialed in if the slide is supported at the front and rear of the cabinet so that you don't have to position it with one hand while trying to fasten it in place with the other. The anatomy of the cabinet itself helps us at the front end in traditional face frame construction, slides can rest on the rails or on spacer blocks placed on the rails. Even with frameless construction, there are usually stretchers or some other structural components defining the drawer openings. The slides can rest on these or, again, on spacers added to the stretchers. The real challenge is how to support the slide at the back of the cabinet. We need something that's solid, stable, and preferably adjustable to reach the various slide heights that are in a typical base cabinet. After experimenting with a couple of different approaches, we settled on this simple little jig. It's made up of a base, an upright, and a second vertical piece with a slot milled in it for adjustability. The moving part is locked in place with a bolt and star knob. We made a couple of these in different lengths to cover a wider range of drawer heights. After using this prototype for a while, we decided that one change we would make is to make a matching slot in the stationary upright piece and add a dowel to act as a guide pin to help keep the uprights aligned. In actual use, however, we found that the uprights are pretty easy to align but this design change would probably make the jig a little faster to adjust. Setting up and using the jig couldn't be easier. We'll use this face frame application to demonstrate. With the jig sitting on the cabinet bottom, adjust the sliding piece until it's flush with the top of the rail that the slide will rest on and tighten the knob. For a little added insurance, you could check this setting with a straight edge but we have found that this isn't really necessary if the bottom of the cabinet is flat and square to the front. After establishing any setback required by the slide manufacturer, drill a pilot hole and secure the front 
of the slide to the face frame. Now position the back of the slide horizontally and secure the rear bracket. Start with the uppermost drawer opening and work your way down. Earlier we mentioned that sometimes it's easier to lay the cabinet on its side to install the slides. Here the jig is helping out in that situation too, which shows a little bit of its versatility. While putting together this video, we realized that over the years we've collected a number of slide installation techniques that both save time and improve accuracy. Some of these have been briefly seen here and will be covered in depth in our very next installment. Meanwhile, please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that little bell so you'll be notified when we post new content. Thanks for watching. We hope we've brought you a tip or two that will help make your time in the shop just a little more enjoyable.